welcome back this video we will be taking a look at scheduled job in service now so as always let's start the tutorial with the code the service according to the service now doc states uh, scheduled jobs are automated piece of work that can be performed at either a particular time or a recurring schedule scheduled jobs are server side javascript and we typically schedule them when to run in the name of schedule However, there is an execute button for executing it for testing purpose. So if we have to schedule a job with some JavaScript, uh, with some JavaScript that runs once a month, we can also click the execute now button to test our schedule job and run it immediately. Schedule job gives us the ability to schedule reports, scripts, charts and other cool things. When we go to create a new scheduled job, we get a series of questions asking us what we would like to do with the new scheduled job. Typically, when, when creating the scheduled job, you will either be running a report or running a custom script. Scheduled jobs are very flexible on when would you run, would like to run them. Okay, They can be scheduled for daily, weekly or monthly, periodically once or even on demand. And when we have, we can provide a condition and uh, we, we want to provide a condition means based on certain condition we want to execute a schedule job we can, we have the provision to write a custom scripts also you can trigger the schedule jobs and server side script by using the following method that is you can see over here that is snc trigger synchronizer dot execute okay now let's take a look at the form of a schedule job so first we can have the name of the specific scheduled job we also have an activity checkbox okay active checkbox so if a schedule job is not active then it will not run which is nice because then we can create a schedule job configure everything and then just simply use the active true or false if we would like to be scheduled uh, to be scheduled job to run or not Okay. this gives us the ability to select whether we want this to run on a monthly weekly daily basis okay then be because we have selected monthly over here we have we also have the ability to provide a day also we also provide we can also provide day we can also provide the timing on which you want to this schedule job to be executed okay and finally we have the ex run script okay run the script so this will the custom script which will get executed once uh, our schedule get match. So based on the schedule, this a custom script will get executed. And on the right hand side, you can see that we have, sorry, on the right hand side, you can see we have execute now button. So this button, uh, by clicking on this button, this particular custom script will get executed immediately. All right. Let's take a look at a couple of use cases for scheduled job. So in the first use case, we simply scheduling, we are simply scheduling a monthly report. So maybe we would like a report of all the incident within the last month scheduled to run on the first day of the every month. Okay. And let's look at the second incident. The second scenario is like uh, case we schedule a script to retire old record from a specific table. So maybe we have a custom application and a specific table holds some type of active records. And if they go over a certain threshold or if they are so many days old, means we have a threshold a limit. Okay. We would like to delete or simply deactivate those records. So we can do simply by script schedule job. Let's move to demo. Okay. Thank you. So let's start with the demo. Most of the people amongst you must be aware about this screen now. So this is a home screen when we log into the personal instance or this is the uh, first screen which you see when you log into the personal instance. Okay. So how to navigate to the scheduled jobs. So in the filter navigator, you can simply type schedule. H E D U D U L E D scheduled job. Okay. And under system definition, you can see there is a model called scheduled job so I will open this out 
and you can see this are all the script included so in this system there are around 162 schedule job present okay so let's check a couple of the schedule job i will filter with active true because we want to see the true right which are active in the system so let's check this one so what the schedule job is doing so as you can see there is a name field where we can define the name of the schedule job then there is an active flag which defines whether this schedule job we want to execute or not if you want to execute we will set it to active then in run we can define the condition okay so we can see over here it's daily weekly monthly periodically once and on demand okay so as we have given for this particular job we have given daily so we can define the time daily at which time we want to execute this schedule job Oh, once if we go once then also we can define there will be only starting date when we want to run a schedule job and there is also one thing called on demand okay if we go on demand right so we have this conditional checkbox uh, right if we check this checkbox then here you can write a custom script and you can create conditions on which you want to based on which um, based on condition which you want to execute the run script and at the last we have a special run script whatever you write over here so based on the schedule which you have defined this particular code will run so over here what we have done is like we have simply called one script include and in the script later, we have called one analyze table table function and over to the top you can see the execute now button so whenever you click the execute now whatever it doesn't matter what kind of condition run condition you have given the script will get executed immediately okay moving back to the schedule job only i will show you ki what kind of schedule jobs we have out of the box in this system so if we click on new so you can see there are what uh, it asks the question what would you like to automate okay the, as schedule job is automated thing so with it asks the question what you want to automate so it's like automate the generation and distribution of reports so if you want to generate and send reports to multiple people we can go with this option automatically generate something as change incident from a template so over here we can define a template and based on the duration or based on the schedule which you have given uh, record will get generated and the most used one it's like automatically run a script of your choosing so if we click over here you can see the form which i've explained just now okay so this is this was all in terms of schedule job please if you have any queries if you have question because in the last video i found that some of the people reached out to me with some queries i have i've tried to answer all their queries if you have any queries and concerns please drop your comments in uh, drop your queries in the comments and i will revert it back over there thank you and have a nice day see you in the next session